There was something different in the storm that night. A darkness I had never felt before. We tried to ignore it, hoping it would pass. But it didn't. gonna get together tonight and rehearse? Tonight's not a good night, man. Neither was last night or the night before that. What's going on? Nothing, man. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, what about our plans, our music, that record deal? How are we ever what gonna- What record deal? There ain't no record deal. Ain't gonna be no record deal. Man, you dreamy! So what do you mean? We're giving up? I mean, what else are man, we gonna do? Man, do what you like, okay? I wanna make my money now. Shiny shoes. Man, I can't sit around and wait for that. Janet. So where you been? Around. So what have you guys been up to? You know us, we're always up to something. How's the music coming along? It's, it's coming all right. All right? Yeah. Listen, why don't you guys come up to the clubhouse later on? Really, Jen? Really. I need to talk to you guys. Tonight's not a good night. We got rehearsal. Listen. I really need to talk to you guys.
Anybody seen Jan? She said she'd be here. She's been acting kind of strange. Or is it just me? I think it's you. I think you're strange. <laughs> Come on, you guys. She's hiding something. I don't think so. <laughs> Look, here she comes. I don't think she's seeing somebody. I don't think she's seeing enough of somebody. If you ask me, I say the girl's in love. That's what it is. I think oh, she's got... See, now you guys are all, you're all getting carried away. Oh, oh, she, she, What's up with you guys? Y'all just standing? Well, I have an announcement to make. We have someone very special. God, Jimmy, you're so <laughs> Come on, Janet, seriously, where have you been? Just getting in folks' business, y'all so oh, much. Oh, no, no, what's up? Yeah. Okay, you guys really want to know.
Thanks, Doug. Looks like her. Hey, take care of this guy for me, man. I'll be right back.
We listened that night to the sound of thunder, to the sound of change.
In complete darkness, we are all the same. It is only our knowledge and wisdom that separates us. Don't let your eyes deceive you. opening to this thing, the way it's going to happen is, you know that very first part that goes, mm, and then you hear that little scream? Well, at that point, everybody will hit this piece right here. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then it goes five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Five, four, three, two, one, five, two, one, five, four, three, 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 two, one, five,
people wanted to her to do a television special, and she kept having these these like nightmares about like uh, variety specials. To get across everything that that we felt was in the album, and to get the the full impact of the entire piece, we felt that we it we needed to do a feature. And we didn't have the time, so that's when I came up with the idea of doing a 30-minute film, a film short. I remember it clearly. One night, she said, she said, we'll do a film. Let's do a film. Let's just go all out. Let's do a film. It'll be black and white and, and dramatic lighting and, and acting and the whole bit. And, and, and we'll tell the story. And this is the way we'll do it. Do it with a real edge to it. And, and, and here we are. to do this video and the scope of it and what it how it could be used in in the concept of the video all of that I think is uh, part of the originality of and inventiveness that's gone into uh, by Janet and in, in, into the uh, creation of this project She's always out there trying to give people something different and fresh and exciting to look at. I mean, it's if it's been done before, she doesn't want to have anything to do with it. It's like, let's start over. And it's uh, part of the reason she gravitated towards a new choreographer this time. Uh, a young guy hadn't had that much experience, but he was an amazing street dancer. And they developed a rapport, and she said, nobody's seen this guy's stuff before. I'll work with him. We'll develop these steps and, and give people something fresh to look at. Anthony has a different background than most choreographers. His background consists of a long time street dancing and his own style of freestyle and I guess street jazz. Five, six, seven, and I don't come in with the attitude that Janet, you do what I say. It's, Janet, what do you want to do? Because she calls the shots. Okay, what? Oh, walk one, boom, 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 okay. We came in, I'm telling you, the first day of rehearsal, and we learned a section. I said, I would go home and practice. After rehearsing six and a half hours or six hours, I would go home and practice, because this stuff is so intricate. It's like never been seen before. It's not technique that, that you need to make this choreography look good. There's a feeling involved. So I think that's what they were looking for in the audition, people who could get the feeling. And then through rehearsals, we totally talked about the feeling of it. It's one of those things that you either got it and you look great, or you can look really bad doing it if you're not doing it right. It's, there's no in-between. This project is such a big thing that you always find some energy to, you know, come through and, and do a good job. In rehearsals, there was just something there, and you felt that person's energy. And you knew if somebody was doing this, and you were doing this, you, you, but you knew, you know, you said, okay, I got to change that, because you felt that. And, and it was so good, you know? And like now that we're filming and we're doing this video, the energy is just like, it, it exploded. It just like let go, and that's really nice.
see people that have obviously rehearsed and are so in tune to each other, you realize that how much more they can do. When, when, when all these people focus on one thing, how powerful that focus is. Control out my thought was her busting out album. And this album is what she really thinks. She's really trying to get um, a deep message across um, through dance, through singing, what she does best. I've known Janet for a long time, and uh, if it's one thing that I've noticed about her, it's as much sensuality as she has. She doesn't flaunt it like a lot of other artists. What she flaunts is her talent. And that's pretty incredible these days, the way things are going. Her feeling was, if she got a group of dancers who were really talented together, and they rehearsed and they really worked hard, that the bottom line is is what they'll put out there hopefully will be inspirational to people who are into music or who are into dance and they see what these young people have achieved by practice and work uh, and hopefully it will be it'll be inspirational towards influencing other young people to, to move along those lines which are more positive than you know the 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 gang route to go I know we can't change the world single-handedly, but if for those who are on, on the fence, on that borderline, not knowing which way to turn, by listening to what I have to say, maybe I can lead them in, in a positive, in the positive direction. And that's pretty much what I'd like for them to get from this. It's, it, it's like saying, going into making the album, it's, it's saying it's okay to have fun. It's okay to dance and, and just go ahead and have fun, but don't forget what's going on in the rest of the world around you. This particular project, what inspired Janet was a, a, a kid named Kick Drum, who lives in a boy's home, that really wa wants to be a performer, yet he kind of, the, the odds are kind of against him. The name of my character is Kick Drum. He plays a, a, a kid that wants to be like a musician, just like Janet. And um, what happened is we are in a situation where I start to turn to be bad because I'm feeling that this is not going to happen. It's a dream. It can never happen to me. So uh, I start to make wrong decisions. So, are we going to get together tonight and rehearse? Tonight's not a good night, man. Neither was last night or the night before that. What's going on? Nothing, man. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, what about our plans, our music, that record deal? How are we ever what gonna... What record deal? There ain't no record deal. Ain't gonna be no record deal. Man, you dreaming. The basic feeling was is that, uh, that one boy is sort of going astray and going the easier route and when something tragic happens to his friend who had his dreams intact and, and uh, was still inspired by the things he dreamed about being, that uh, the young boy under the influence of Janet and being exposed to her and the dancers and what they stand for um, comes back around and gets back on course and hopefully make something, you know, of himself. 
Kyron stands up in the foreground, he's got the pin, and then as he turns, the camera goes this way, boom, and you're right there. Stand, you know, they're standing for him. So, I mean, I think what we need at that point is just that moment, you know, that, that look between the two of you. I'll, we'll shoot your close, this is kind of a medium shot about here, that's, so. Yeah, that's nice. You know, you're just seeing this dance and what these people stand for and what they've gone through and how great they are than what they do. And that sort of re-inspired you to want to be a part of what they represent. Mm -hmm. So in the end, she means that to you. There are a lot of scenes in the film that I like, but mostly I like the scene when I get to hug Janet. <laughs> it's fun. And we like had to do it 12 times and you know, whoo, just felt great. <laughs> films and stuff and doing the whole video scene I guess you could call it was something very different I mean there doesn't seem to be any day shoots it seems like everyone comes out at night you know like at a concert you know because of the music business and it all seems to be they're wearing badges like they're at a concert you know you usually don't do that on a normal set you know so it's like this whole different feel that I've never been a part of probably have a uh, up to about 12 to 15 man grip electrical crew on the bigger days and down to about 10 on the smaller days. They're responsible for constructing uh, and uh, maintaining the lights and the lighting. <laughs> we also have a five man special effects crew for the, the smoke, the lightning, the water and uh, steam effects that are happening in virtually all the scenes. We have up to about nine people in makeup, hair and wardrobe on the larger days. And then we have a production crew that varies in size depending on the cast, which are up to about 200 people. There's actually three art departments, one which builds ahead of us, which is basically the sets, and then we have uh, a crew that works with us while the crew's here, and then a separate crew that works when we're not here, picking up and dropping off things. And so they stay one step ahead of us all the way. In the beginning, there were like simple conversations about, you know, where to go with design and what we were going to do. And I don't think any of us really knew what that might look like until we began. A lot of these materials were materials that we could do fast. And, uh, you know, that's why I was using foam and, and uh, plastics, Luan. So I, I look at our design style and, and everything that we were doing is an eclectic, more of an eclectic uh, look. Janet, as a person, is, is meticulous, and she's very precise. And it's generally on videos or film, you don't take care of the detail because, you, you know, chances are you don't really see it. But just working with Janet, I think it's very important for her, just down to the last thing, whether you're going to see it or not, that she feels that it's there and that it's taken care of.
was raised up with all her brothers. And uh, she was always a tomboy and always playing with them. And they would always tease her. And she would always have something sassy to say back. That was really funny. And she kept them laughing. When we're working on steps and stuff like that, and she'll like work through it, and she'll even ask us, "Oh, is this right?" You know, and we'll like be going. She messes up. Yeah. The first to laugh. You know, that. it's not like, "Oh, I messed up." Oh my gosh. Janet makes me feel like I can go to her and say, "What's that arm?" Or she feels she can. Janet feels she can come to me and say, "Jimmy, now is it seven and eight? I'm like, "Yeah, it is." I guess I wasn't expecting her to do everything that we're doing and more. Most, you know, most artists do a little bit of you know, like a chunk here and then. You know, they've got their staging and maybe, you know, leaning up against the wall singing, but she's doing all the dancing that we're doing, plus more with other, you know, other things throughout the video, and she's, she's just doing a great job. Working with Janet, I, I've learned that she's a very giving person, a very personal person, and that she's affectionate toward her, her co-workers. They wanted a family atmosphere. They needed people that looked and worked well together. We have become a family, and that was important for us to become a family, to, to actually have a closeness so that when you do see us on film, you can actually feel like, God, you know, they really are close. And we have become really good friends. I have to have fun with whatever I do, I'm doing, and, and I, I love what I do so much. It's so funny because we work such long hours, like the, the one time we were shooting for the, the 25 hours straight, and, and we start to get tired. And then we got a little bit moody because we wanted to go home. Then all of a sudden we got giggly because it was like 4 in the morning or something. And once you get past that point, it's like you get so silly, and everything was so... Every little thing was just so funny to us, we'd start crying, we were laughing so hard. The chair dance sequence at the end of uh, Miss You Much was one of the most difficult things they had to do. And it was a combination of things. I mean, they did a great job with it, but we were like, we had already been on the set about, oh, I don't know how long we'd been there, 16 or 18 hours or something like that. And, and finally it was, okay, now it's time for the chair routine, and everybody went, oh my God. You know, like it would have been hard enough to do the first thing. That's the end? No. I was sick a couple of days, so I lost a little bit of time. I probably rehearsed less than the rest of the dancers, and I noticed that Janet rehearsed less than I did. And then I saw a few playbacks from stuff that she had done already, and uh, I was blown away how hard she was sticking the moves and, and at the same time lip syncing her lines, and, and just it was just, it's pretty incredible to watch her work. That could work as well, and then we go behind something, we come out, maybe there's some steam coming out of it or something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we meet on the other side of it. We need to, like, lose her for a beat, so that then she's, she's like, mid, mid-waist shot when we lose her, and the next time we find her, she's... Boom. Now, will that give her enough room to do this no, thing? That, that's what I was going to say. After she jumps, lands here, the move, that, that sort of, uh, that sort of boom move, what, what does that happen? So dumb, right there, right right here. Boom. Okay. Don't ring it out. Pow. Uh, uh, drop. She drops out so of see, frame. You, you kind of need to see that. Gun, gun. Right. Hit. hit up. up. 
Yeah. Right. And I always tell them to do their best whenever they get out there. And I think this is what they do. And you could see that in Michael when he gets out there on stage and everybody thinks he's so shy and this is how Janet come across, very shy. But once they get on the stage, then you think it's a different person because they do their best and that's what they should do. She's just like 150% when it looks perfect to us, when it looks flawless to us, she's still not satisfied, you know. It could have been better, let me do it one more time, you know. We'd, we would do a number of takes, as you know, until we got close to what felt right, and then we'd go and check a few of them back on playback. And I got used to her never saying, it's great, or it's perfect, or I love it. At most it was, hmm, or I would walk away and then a minute later, Renee would come up to me and say, Jan wants to do one more. I already knew, you know, because I knew, because it wasn't even that, mm, it was kind of like, oh, God, and I thought, I, hear, I know we're going to do more of these. <laughs> I know. I don't know what's wrong with the take. It looked perfect to me, but something's not right. I admire Janet Janet very much, you know, I mean, it was very, I was very privileged to work with her, someone who's so young and brilliant. She's inspired us all, she really has, in her honesty and her determination, because she was determined this project would take place, and it has. She's excited about it, she's been waiting for this for a long time, and we've all worked very hard with this, and, and it's going to pay off, I really believe so. Dreams do come true. But it, you can't just sit there and wait for it to happen. You have to make it happen. And that's the way I've always felt. That's the way my whole family's always felt. You can make whatever you want to do in life. Nothing's impossible. But you have to work at it to make it happen. Just don't sit and wait for it to come to you because you'll never get it that way. And that's the way we feel. It's like when the kids were young and my husband used to be standing on the sideline and they're singing and his mouth is just going every word that they say. <laughs> And I used to laugh at him because he's so worried about them not making, he didn't want them to make any mistakes or anything like that. And so that's how I feel too. I feel sometimes if it's me up there and, and I'm just, I guess I'm pushing her along with myself back. It's, it, I guess it's sort of nerve wracking in a way, but uh, it's very rewarding after she's done and I feel really good. One, two.
No.